that what is the Islamic solution for this? The Islamic solution for depression and for suicide is Allah says in the Quran in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 28, Verily, in the remembrance of Allah will hearts find satisfaction. So the survey on what which people are the most satisfied is the Muslim because the Muslim knows that verily in the remembrance of Allah will the hearts find satisfaction. So this is the solution for depression and for suicide. And Allah also says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 195 that do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction that is saying that committing suicide is haram. And my father, may Allah grant him Jannah, he was one of the first Muslim psychiatrists in India. And he was also the president of the psychiatry uh, in an association. And he used to always say that the best treatment for a depressed person, for anxiety, it is the Quran. You, you read the Quran with understanding and inshallah your depression will be solved. And there are treatments of depression you can take antidepressant, there, there, can, there are the drugs, uh, one is a psychotherapy, talking, that is the best. Instead of talking, you let Allah talk to you. If Allah talks to you, He is the best cure in the world. He is the one who can cure. He is the best doctor, He is the best psychiatrist. So let Allah talk to you, that will be the best cure. And the third is the ECT, that elect, uh, ECT, electroconvulsive therapy, where you put and you give shocks. But the best is the therapy that when a psychiatrist talks to you one to one, and the best talking can be done is by Allah. So the best solution is reading the Quran with understanding, with translation. I have given the talk on the topic, what is the purpose of life? And in this talk, I have describe that every human being has a center. Some people are mainly society center. What will the society think about me? So they are most bothered about what will the friends and the society think about me? So they are trying to satisfy society. Some people are neighbor center. They are more involved in trying to prove that they are better than the neighbor. Some people are family centered. They are more bothered about their parents. Some people think that what their parents say is everything. So the main purpose of life is to satisfy the mother. Some people's purpose of life is to satisfy the father. So even if the mother speaks against Quran and Sunnah, if he's a Muslim, he will say no. Following the mother is important, not realizing that yes, obeying the mother is important. But if the mother speaks against Allah and his Rasul, at that time you don't listen to her. But that, that person is mother-centered. So you only want to satisfy the mother even though she goes against Allah and his Rasul. Some people are father-centered. Some people are children-centered. They are so much bothered that they want to see to it that their children are successful or they want to make their children maybe a celebrity or maybe a doctor. So whatever the children say, they will follow hook or by crook. They want to satisfy them. But a true Muslim, a true woman is a person who is Allah-centered. His life should be revolving around the commandments of Allah, the teachings of Allah and His Rasul, our beloved Prophet Muhammad If He is Allah centered, and that what was our beloved Prophet, and the Sahabas, and the Khulfa Rashidin, they always, when they did any deed, they used to wonder, will Allah be happy or not? They are least bothered whether it will be against them or not. Will it be against their family or not? Their first criteria was, will Allah and His Rasul be happy or not? So a true Muslim should be Allah-centered. If you are Allah-centered, and if you are centered around the teachings of the glorious Quran, and the Sahih Hadith of a beloved Prophet Muhammad Inshallah, you can never be depressed. And as I said, depression is different from feeling grief or sad. A person can be sad if he goes lost in business, or if he goes, if he has a death in the family. But depression is a medical terminology. If that thing continues for two weeks or more, it's called a depression. So if someone dies, 
our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, you can maximum grieve for three days. That also in limitations, you cannot go overboard. So all these are teachings of a Prophet because there is the will of Allah. So if you follow the teachings of the Quran, inshallah, there is no question of you to be depressed. Because Quran has a solution to the problems of depression. The depression mainly comes is because of the anxiety, because you are always trying to satisfy maybe your neighbor or maybe trying to satisfy uh, someone else else in the society. So best solution is the Quran. And I have also given a talk on Quran, the path to happiness. And in that I have said that there are various types of happiness. One is a false happiness, which a person can get if he has alcohol or if he has drugs, it's a fake happiness. Just maybe for a few minutes or for a few hours. Then second is a temporary happiness. You may want to become rich and you may become rich, but then after that what? You may want to become actor and you become an after that what? But the real true happiness is everlasting happiness that can only be achieved is in Jannah. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 185, that Every soul shall have a taste of death. And the final recompense is on the day of judgment. And anyone who is safe from the hellfire and enters the Jannah has achieved the objective of this world. For this world is nothing but mere chattels of deception. So the main objective of a Muslim is ultimate goal, ultimate happiness is Jannah. And before he reaches Jannah, the path to Jannah is also happiness. What you lead in this life. So the survey said that. The survey done in the Mannheim University in Germany by the non-Muslim German psychologist, that what is satisfaction? The satisfaction that you have, even though the Muslims are ill-treated, they are oppressed, yet we find that they have faith in Allah. So because of that, their satisfaction level is very high, the happiness level is very high, and we find that the percentage of depression in the Muslims is the least, the percentage of suicide is the least, and a person who is more close to Allah and his Rasul, who follows more of the Quran and the Sunnah, he may have whatever problems in this world. He will not get depressed. There is no question of committing suicide because the Muslim knows it's a major sin. And the Muslim knows that this life is a test for the hereafter. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalaq al mawta wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed.